And we're back to learning with Jenny. Let me show you an approach to turn portraits into these comic styles. Here's an example. At first, open your settings, type it in, confirm via enter, then switch to Niji Model 5. That's at least the latest version available to me right now. And if you switch this parameter, minus minus Niji 5 will automatically be added to everything that you type in here. We'll make it cute girl, smiling, dark hair. And now we'll use an image. I'll just use this from Unsplash. I'm going to link to it. Right click, copy image link and then paste it right here. And here you can see Niji 5 is automatically added. And this is the first approach that I would use. Second is you can download the image and then paste it here when you have Describe opened. Confirm via Enter. And Midjourney is going to give you a couple of prompts related to this photo. This comes in handy, especially because we need the aspect ratio. It's here given 85 times 128. And while it still works on our first image generation, let me add one here. For the second one, I add style, but for Niji, there are different styles. So not just raw, we can use cute, expressive, original and scenic. Original was the default until May 26. I would recommend trying out cute and expressive. We'll just add it. There are a couple of parts of these described prompts that will prevent it from becoming a comic style. For example, here is the EOS 5D Mark, which is the camera type, and there's also 8K resolution, stuff like this. But here is the simple cute girl smiling dark hair prompt with our reference image. And this is almost exactly what we need. In this specific case, I would like to use number three. Let me upscale it. In the meantime, the other ones are still running. I've used no style for the first one, then cute and expressive. Let me go to custom zoom for our comic style right here. We need to change the zoom to 1. And then the aspect ratio, we've had it 85 times 128. Submit is going to adjust the aspect ratio for this upscaled image. Here's style cued. And it's a little bit more comic-like or animation-like, so we could use that. Here's style expressive, and this is more realistic now. Number two could work. But this one's still the best, so I like this method the most, where you just paste a URL or your image into mid-journey, add a simple prompt and then make sure you've got an EG model selected. For me right now, latest version is 5. Now we've got this perfect aspect ratio. Let us upscale for example number 4. And now the final method that you can try is to use a blend. And we'll just blend the original that we've downloaded from Unsplash with this one right here that we've upscaled.
Let me save it. And I'll switch back to Mid Journey. We'll use Blend. Image 1 is this from Unsplash, our original. Image 2, our comic. And then try to blend it. Just press Enter. And so far, this has also given me good results. Let us compare it. I'll put the other two here. And here's our finished results. That's for example upscale number three. And I open the images yet again. So here's the original. Face has been a little bit altered, it's it's more round now. And this was without the blend on the left hand side. So it's up to you what you pick. But this is the method that you can use to turn portraits into this comic style. Hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.